This is an easy GRE quant practice question. It's a GRE problem solving question in ratio proportion. The crux of solving this question, actually you can solve this question in two ways. I'm going to be choosing one method. The crux of using that method, which I think is an easy way to go about this question, is your ability to combine two ratios. There's one ratio given, there's a second ratio given. If you can combine these two ratios and make it into one single ratio, then this question can be solved quickly. In solving this question, let's get a good handle of how to combine two ratios. If the ratio of the ages of two friends, A and B is 3 is to 5, and that of B and C is 3 is to 5. Notice the link between these two ratios is this B. You need to have a common element, which is when you can combine it. And the sum of the ages of the three friends is 147. What we need to find out is, how old is B? Quickly jot down key data given to us. Ratio of the ages of A and B is 3 is to 5. B and C is 3 is to 5. Sum of their ages A plus B plus C equals 147. Obviously, the variables A, B and C represent the ages of A, B and C. As I mentioned, the link between these two is basically the first ratio also has B, the second one also has B. For a moment, think about it this way. If you had A is to B, is let's say a 1 is to 2. I'm just writing one example. And B is to C is a 2 is to 3. Will we not be able to find out what A is to B is to C? B is the link between these two. The numerical value of B in both these ratios is the same. So we can quickly say A is to B is to C is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 3. Is that the case with us? Here the numerical value of B in the first ratio is a 5. The numerical value of B in the second ratio is a 3. Unlike in this example that we took, where the value of B is the same in both ratios, it's not in this case. So what do we do? Let's make the value of B in both these ratios the same. How do we go about doing it? A very systematic way of doing it is basically write the value of B in both these ratios. Actually write both these ratios to have equivalent values such that the value of B is the same. How do you make the value of B same? Find the LCM of B in both these cases. The value of B in the first ratio is a 5. The value of B in the second ratio is a 3. So we're going to make the value of B in both the ratios to be equal to the LCM of 3 and 5. The LCM of 3 and 5 is a 15. So I'm going to start with the first ratio. First ratio is A is to B. We know that is a 3 is to 5. If I have to make this value of 15, I need to multiply this entire ratio with a 3. So A is to B will become 9 is to 15, which still is in the same ratio, 3 is to 5. Let's do the same thing with B is to C. B is to C is also a 3 is to 5. The value of B here is a 3. We need to make it a 15, which means we need to multiply this ratio with a 5. So this becomes 15 is to 25, which still is the same 3 is to 5. But now this is as 9 is to 15. The second ratio is 15 is to 25. Leaves us with a numerical value of B as the same in both the ratios. So now that you got this achieved, we can go back to the step and similarly write this ratio also as A is to B is to C is a 9 is to 15 is to 25. So if you have two ratios A is to B, B is to C, check whether the value of B, which is a connect between these two ratios, is the numerical value the same. If it is not, make it same the way we have gone about it. Now that we know A is to B is to C is 9 is to 15 is to 25, the ages of A, let's say is A 9x, B will be 15x and that of C will be 25x. Some of their ages, therefore, is going to be equal to 9x plus 15x plus 25x, which is equal to 147. 40, 49x is equal to 147. 49x is 147. x is equal to 147 upon 49. That is equal to 3. What do we have to find out? We need to find out the age of B. What is the age of B? Age of B is equal to 15x. So B's age, which is equal to 15x, will be 15 times 3 because found the factor x equal to 3. So this is equal to 45 years. Quickly run through this entire process in a printed form. Our objective is to make the value of B same in both these ratios. Effective way of going about it is finding out the LCM of these two values and rewriting the first and the second ratio to reflect the value of B to be the LCM of these two values. LCM of these two values is a 15. So we are rewriting the first ratio as a 9 is to 15. We are rewriting the second ratio as a 15 is to 25. So now we can combine the two ratios and write it as a single ratio, A is to B is to C as 9 is to 15 is to 25. So if A's age is 9x, B's will be 15x and C's will be 25x. Sum of their ages is equal to 147. 9x plus 15x plus 25x equals 147. 49x equals 147. x equals 3. Age of B is equal to 15x. So 15 times 3, 45 is B's age. Choice D is the correct answer to the question.
Before you leave, I want you to do two things. One, sign up as a trial user for Visaco's online GRE course at online.visaco.com. Takes all of three minutes and two steps to get started. And lastly, subscribe to this channel, youtube.com slash visacogre. We keep adding newer questions, give you tips, tricks on how to crack the GRE.